Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I am Steady Linda. I am a second year medical student and uh, I've been asked by the doctor to perform some uh, examination of you, uh, on you. So the examination is of uh, the musculoskeletal. Is that okay with you? Okay. So can I know your name and your age? Uh, my name is Mr. Marwin. I'm the doctor as well. Okay. So, sir, for this examination, I require to take up your shirt. Is it okay? Okay. So now I'll begin the examination of the shoulder by uh, inspecting the uh, shoulder and the shoulder bladder, uh, the scapula and its related muscle. And here I'll also be noting uh, if there is any swelling or deformities, muscle atrophy, fine tremors of the uh, muscle. So now for the palpation, first I'll be, uh, so can you please then, okay, chin up. Here I'm palpating for tenderness at the stenoclavicular joint, tracing the clavicle laterally with my fingers. And then. then from behind, I'm following the bony spine of the scapula laterally and upward until it becomes the acromion. From there, I'm palpating the acromioclavicular joint and from there down to the coracoid process of the scapula. Then I palpate the greater tubercle and the biceps tendon in the intertubercular groove, checking for tenderness. So can you please, uh, also, okay. I lift the humerus of the patient posteriorly so I can palpate over the subacromial bursa and subdelta bursa and underlying palpable seeds muscle which include supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. So now sir, I'll be doing the next uh, examination that is for the uh, shoulder gather range of motion. So please follow my lead, okay? This is for the flexion, extension, Abduction, abduction, uh, sorry, abduction, uh, so can you please turn, okay, uh, and do this, this is for the internal, uh, this is for the internal rotation, and uh, yes, you can turn, turn again, uh, do this, okay, and this is for the external rotation. Uh, now for the manoeuvre of examining the shoulder, uh, first I'll be uh, doing the cross body adduction test. So can you please do this? Okay. I'll just do your hand like this. Like this. Okay. this test is used to assess the integrity of the acromioclavicular joint. And uh, next for the abuse strikes test. So the second is done on your back. So we do this again. A please scratch test is used to assess shoulder range of motion. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, next for the uh, near impingement side. So please, uh, okay, you raise your hand. This compressed the greater tuberosity of the humerus against the acromion. Do you feel any pain here? Yeah? No. Okay. And uh, uh, next for the Hawking impingement sign, uh, sir, can you please do this again? Okay. This compressed the greater tuberosity against the supraspinatus tendon and coracoacromial ligament. And now for the drop arm test. Uh, so can you just uh, um, hold your hand down, okay? This helps to determine if the patient has an underlying rotator cuff dysfunction. Okay. 
And lastly, for the empty counters, please sign again. Do this. Okay, I will be applying some force down, and while you apply force up again. This test is used to assess the supraspinatus muscle and supraspinatus tendon. Okay. So, do you feel any pain around your shoulder? No. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, the next examination is for the wrist and hands. So first I'll be uh, inspecting the wrist and hands of uh, the patient and then I'll proceed with palpation. Second, please stand. Uh, can you show me? Uh, first I'll be inspecting. So there is no uh, deformities or any lesion in the patient's hand. Now for palpation. So do you feel anything? No. Uh, now for the wrist range of motion, passing here, please raise your hand and follow me, okay? Do this. Okay. Uh, now I'll be testing for the sensation of the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, and the radial nerve. So can you please show me your hand again? Okay. Do you feel any uh, sensation? Yes. 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 Okay. So now I'll be testing for the hand grip. So sir, I'll be uh, uh you'll be gripping my hand as much as you can get. Grip it. This is to test for the strength of the finger. Okay. Uh now for the thumb movement or the uh, finger stay test. So can you please uh, do this and do this. Yeah, and do this. This is to diagnose for the carbian tenosynovitis. Okay. Now for the uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, first I'll be doing the thumb abduction. So sir, can you please uh, lift your thumb like this, okay? While I apply some uh, force. Lift it. Okay. And uh, for the uh, tenal side, can you do this? Do you feel any ting uh, tingling or any pain in your second, third and fourth finger? Yeah. Okay. And uh, lastly is for the following sign. Can you please do this? Okay. So do you feel any, again do you feel any tingling or uh, pain in your third, fourth and fifth finger? No. Okay. Now, uh, now for the uh, range of motion for the finger, so, sir, can you please follow me again? Do this. Now for the thumb. Okay, thank you. Now for the examination of the knee, first I'll be inspecting and uh, palpating the knees of the patient. Sir, can you please flex your leg? Again.
Now for the palpation test for the knee joint. First I'll be doing the bolt sign. Uh, then for the balloon sign next for the balloting the patella so now for the knee range of motion first I'll be doing the flexion, the extension and the, the internal rotation and the uh, external rotation so sir, can you please extend, uh, sorry, flex your leg. Okay. Can you please extend it? Okay. Uh, now for the internal rotation of the knee. I'll be holding the, I'll be palpating the patient while the patient's swing is uh, lower leg. So sir, can you please uh, do, uh, can you please swing your neck like this? Okay, swing. Okay, thank you. Now for the uh, manual for the examination of the knee. First I'll be performing the McMurray test. So can you please, uh, like me, okay. Now for uh, abduction or uh, the vulgar stress test. Okay. Next for the abduction or the uh, various stress test. And now for the anterior driver sign. for the Lachman test okay. and lastly for the uh, posterior driver sign with all this examination I concluded the musculoskeletal examination Thank you.